Hello everybody, I am teacher Edna and welcome to grade 6 science class. For today's lesson, we are going to study all about separating mixtures. From our past lesson, we studied what a mixture is and the two types of mixtures. So what is a mixture? A mixture is a material made up of two or more different substances which are physically combined. There are different ways of separating mixtures. We have the following, decantation, evaporation, filtration, sieving, winnowing, hand picking, using magnet and chromatography. So let us first discuss what a decantation is. Decantation is the process of separation of heterogeneous mixtures made up of solid and liquid or two different liquids with different density. Here is an example of a solid and liquid mixture that can be separated by decantation. The mixture of sand and water. Once the sand settles at the bottom of the container, you can easily separate the water by pouring it to other container. Another example of two liquids that can be separated is a mixture of oil and water because they have different densities. Another way of separating mixture is by means of evaporation. Evaporation is the process in which the liquid changes into gaseous form on heating, allowing the liquid to evaporate, leaving soluble solid behind. Take a look at the example. The salt and water solution can be separated through evaporation. By using heat, the liquid or water will turn into a vapor, which is the gas, and leaving the soluble solid behind, which is the salt. Another way of separating mixture is by means of filtration. Filtration is the process in which solid particles in a liquid or gaseous fluid are removed by the use of a filter medium that permits the fluid to pass through but retains the solid particles. Take a look at the illustration. By using the filter paper and the funnel, you can separate a mixture. Example of this is a tap water. As filtration goes on, you will observe that on the filter paper, the residue remains. It means the dirt of the water remains at the filter paper and the clean water or the filtrate goes at the bottom of the container. The next way of separating mixture is by means of sieving. Sieving is the process of separating particles by size. The process started in ancient times in Egypt where sieves were used to separate grain. Here are some examples of sieving. Separating the sand from gravel through sifting and of course separating the large sizes of flour in baking by using a sifter. So let us move on to winnowing. Winnowing is the method in which heavier components of the mixture are separated from the lighter substances with the help of wind. Look at the illustration. It shows how winnowing is done. You can separate the grains from the chaffs by means of winnowing with the help of the wind. Chaffs are lighter than the grains. That's why the wind blew them away. Another way of separating mixture is by means of hand picking. Hand picking is the method in which substances in a mixture can be separated by just picking them out with the help of a hand. It is one of the various methods which are carried out in dry conditions. So take a look at the examples here. So it shows how hand picking is done in separating the different kinds of grains. Usually, we use the hand picking in solid mixtures. Let's move on in using magnet. 
Magnetic separation is the process of separating components of mixtures by using magnets to attract magnetic materials. The process that is used for magnetic separation detaches non-magnetic material with those who are magnetic. So here is an example of magnetic separation. By separating iron filings from sulfur by using a magnet. The last one is by means of chromatography. Chromatography is a method of separating dissolved substances from one another. It is often used when the dissolved substances are colored, such as inks, food colorings, and plant dyes. One of the examples of chromatography is by dyeing clothes. The color or ink that is dissolved in the water is transferred to the cloth. So guys, can you tell me now the different ways of separating mixtures? Okay, let's go. Decantation. Evaporation. Filtration. Sieving. Winnowing. Hand picking. Using magnet. And chromatography. Very good. Now that you already know the different ways of separating mixtures, it's time to take a quiz. Direction. Identify the way of separating mixtures in each description. Number one. This is a process in which the liquid form became a gas when heated. The liquid becomes vapor, leaving the solute behind. So you have so you have five seconds to answer. The answer is evaporation. Good job. Number two. It is a process of separating non-magnetic materials from magnetic. The answer is use of magnet. Good job. Third, it is a process of separating mixtures by just picking the solid materials with the help of a hand. The answer is hand picking. You're killing it. And let's move on to the next. It is a process of separating heavier objects from the lighter one with the help of the wind. You have five seconds. Winnowing. Excellent. Five. It is a process of separating bigger and smaller mixtures. The answer is sieving. Good job. Next, it is a process of separating the solid material from liquid by using a filter. You have five seconds. And the, and the answer is filtration. Correct. Next, number seven. It is a process of separating the solid and liquid or two liquids with different density. You have five seconds. And the answer is decantation. Great job. Last number, it is a process of separating dissolved substances from one another. You have five seconds to answer. The answer is chromatography. Great job. So how's your score everybody?